Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. Poofs are a trendy and functional decor item, but they can be pricey. By creating your own, you can save money and make it exactly how you want. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are one yard each of two or three decor fabrics. I'm using Bella Velvet in Otter Gray, Premier Prince Jerry Saffron Yellow, and Swabelle Mill Creek Dawkins Titanium. Scissors or a rotary cutter and mat, a ruler, a fabric marker, thread, pins, a hand sewing needle, and for the filling, scrap fabric and stuffing or batting. This poof is going to be a 17 inch cube. Measure and cut pieces for the top and bottom that are 21 inches square. I'm using upholstery velvet here, but you can use any decor fabric. Also cut four strips that are four by 15 inches. These will wrap around the corners to create a border around each side. Finally, cut four pieces that are 15 by 15 inches each for the sides. I'm going to use two different fabrics for this. I'm going to sew the corners on the top and bottom pieces so the fabric wraps around the edges one and a half inches. On the back of the fabric, mark two lines that form a two inch square in each corner. That's one and a half inches plus half an inch for the seam allowance. Fold the fabric in half diagonally so the lines match up on both sides. Sew on the line, back stitching at the beginning and end. The stitching should be on or near the line on the other side too. Cut off the extra fabric and repeat for the rest of the corners on both the top and bottom pieces. Next, I'm going to sew all the border and side pieces together. Place a border and square panel together with right sides facing and sew down the length with a half inch seam allowance. Continue sewing the pieces together, alternating between border and side pieces. Once they're in one long strip, sew the ends together to close the loop. Then, Sew the top piece to the sides. Line them up with the right sides facing so the corners fall in the middle of the border pieces and pin. Sew all the way around, back stitching at the beginning and end. When you come to a seam, open it up before sewing over it. Do the same for the seams on the bottom fabric. Repeat for the bottom piece, but leave a gap of about 12 inches in the middle of one of the sides. Turn the piece right side out and poke out the corners. Fill the poof with scrap fabric. It's best to start with batting, stuffing, or a pillow form so the top is soft and smooth. I'm using an 18 inch pillow. Then fill the rest with fabric you have around like old towels or sheets.
use batting or stuffing around the sides and corners to fill out the poof. If you want the poof to be softer, like a floor pillow, you can fill it with just stuffing instead. Or you can get beanbag fill. Fold the edges in half an inch and hand sew the opening with a hidden stitch. Watch our video on how to sew a hidden stitch to see more details. When you finish sewing, turn it over and the poof is done. You can use your poof as an ottoman or footrest, as extra seating, or as floor pillows. They're especially great for kids' spaces. Thanks for watching this OFS project.